Hello and welcome to MyRucksackandI.com. My name is Alistair Down and today we're here at Penny Fan in the Brecon Beacon, South Wales and we're going to be taking a look at wild camping. So what are we looking for in a location? Well ideally we like to have some nice level ground. Uh, if you can find some higher ground, slightly higher ground then that's good so if it pours with rain in the night um, you know you don't want to be pitched in a gully that's going to fill up with water um, you know you want to be on a nice bit of high ground so that uh, you can avoid all of that you've got to think about the wind um, which way is the prevailing wind coming from um, you want to be able to set your tent up in such a manner that you can have the, the vestibule open the door open and the winds not howling in through it so you need to think about which way the winds coming we need to think about the type of shelter that you have. Uh, are you using a bivy, uh, a tarp? Uh, have you just got a hammock? Have you got a tent? Are you using natural um, shelter? Are you going to make your own out of, out of um, logs and trees, etc., or leaves? Um, so, you know, you have to take all of this into account when you think about wild camping. Now, today, I've brought a tent with me. Generally through the winter months, that's, that's what I will use. In the summer months, I'll go to a tarp, nice and easy to put up, um, and you, know, you get the full benefits of being able to see the great outdoors. So today I've brought with me my Terra Nova Solar Photon 2, which I've had now for oh, approximately five years, um, and it has stood me in good stead. So I'm gonna put that up, and then I'll give you a quick show around. Now, as you can see, that really didn't take very long at all. The tent is fantastic. Uh, very easy to put up. 14 pegs, one set of poles which all clip together, um, running through the ridge. It's very thin, it's very streamlined. Um, so if you put the back end into the prevailing wind, the wind will come around it so it doesn't flap about in the breeze. It's a very secure tent. You can see just how secure it is and I like to have a tent that's got the vestibule at the front um, so you've got a good amount of space in there they class it as a two-man I never use it as a two-man and um, generally I just use it as a one-man and all of my equipment my rucksack will go down the side plenty of space in there for everything just leaves the vestibule so if, if it is pouring with rain and I need to cook I can just open it up slightly and still be able to cook safely in there um, you know, without too much hassle. So that sort of looks at uh, a brief introduction to wild camping. Um, the location and the tent that I use, um, which has served me well now for four or five years, six years, um, and I love it. So from that part of it, thank you very much. Um, from my rucksack and I.com and from me Alistair Down. I appreciate you watching the video. If you've got any comments, um, please make them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you very much.